Hello everyone. Today we are going to study about the complexity of the algorithms. Okay. For this we should know what is complexity. Complexity is a parameter that defines how much our algorithm is efficient. It tells me how much algorithm is efficient. Okay. As you all know, it is of two types, space and time. The space complexity means how much memory the algorithm is taking in the system and the time means how much time it is taking to execute. The space complexity is further of two types or you can say that it has a fixed part and a variable part. Now what does that mean? Some of the variables, suppose we have to uh, find a sum of two numbers, A and B. So we already define in the program int A and int B. So they will occupy particular uh, spaces in the memory. Okay. And suppose, uh, uh, and when will I have a variable part? Or you can say, uh, when we have a dynamic allocation of memory, that is we initially don't know how much memory it will take. We later on decide how much memory should be allotted to the particular data structure. Okay and time it is a compile time that is how much time the program takes to compile and mostly in most of the cases it is always a constant value okay and for most of the algos it is same and second is the runtime runtime will obviously vary for the uh, according to the algorithm for example uh, maybe suppose you have to print from numbers 1 to n where n is entered by the user so if I enter n as a small number, suppose 5, so suppose you can say it takes one unit of time to execute one for loop, so it will take five units, okay? But suppose if I execute or if I enter the value of n as 100, so it will obviously take 100 units. That is, it will take more of time, 20 times more time. So the runtime uh, time complexity depends uh, from algorithm to algorithms. Now we'll, uh, we'll see a method that we use to find out the space complexity okay now suppose i have this thing a uh, question example sum is equal to a and n okay then i've given this uh, s as initialize it as zero then four is equal to one two do what it has to do s plus a of this thing it will in the end return s and stop so now if i suppose i have to find the space complexity what i do is i will find out the space complexity for the assignment operators okay i find the space complexity for the assignment operators so i see one it will be here okay then one it will be here now for this statement first it will say i is equal to one then i is equal to two i is equal to three i is equal to four i is equal to five suppose i have n as five okay i is equal to one one time i is equal to two i is equal to three i is equal to four i is equal to five now when i becomes i also becomes equal to six and then it checks the condition and it is not true but it executed for i is equal to 6 right once it executed for the false condition also so the complexity here becomes 1 plus n i repeat i will be checking the space complexity the space complexity for the assignment operator so when i talk about this for loop what happens is 1 to n times i is assigned and the loop works but when i moves to n plus 1 so what happens i is assigned the value n plus 1 although the condition turns false and the loop will not work but assignment has taken place right so that is why the space complexity is incremented by 1 so the complexity becomes 3 plus n or you can say that is the space complexity okay now we will study how we calculate the time complexity for an algorithm for calculating the time complexity of an algorithm what i use I use the count method okay so what happens in a count method I have to follow this rule 
for a count method the rule i follow is that as soon as i get an operation in that as soon as i had uh, got the assignment operator right whenever i got this equal to sign i used to count for the space complexity but here whenever i get an operation i'll count so for the same algorithm okay for the same algorithm suppose sum a comma n okay i'll go that is a way to write the algorithm i will discuss later on s is equal to 0 count is equal to count plus 1 for i is equal to 1 to n do s is equal to s plus a of i you can say a is an array return s so what we do here we see we see step by step okay so there is no uh, time taken for running this step or this step right so let's make a table over here okay and in that table we are going to have the headings as steps per execution okay frequency that is how many times that step has taken place and the total so that would give me the total number of steps okay so this thing takes no time to execute obviously null no time to execute and null now this thing takes one unit of time and this step is occurring only once okay here sorry this this is this is nothing in the algorithm sorry for this okay now this thing the for loop how many times uh, how how many steps are there one one step that is for i is equal to one only one step is there no but it is executing n plus one number of times as we uh, discussed in the early example y n plus one as we discussed in the space complexity okay this number of steps is one but it is executing n plus one number of times here no execution okay here also no execution the brackets obviously we are not going to uh, take it okay you can write it down as zero then this this step is occurring n number of times and how many steps only one step suppose here we had some other statement suppose we we had a statement as c out a of i then what then uh, what would have it been here i would have written 2 because the number of steps were 2 2 and the frequency was n but here only i have one statement so 1 the number of steps is 1 frequency is n okay here also the number of steps is 1 frequency is n here the frequency has no use okay so now we count the number of total steps obviously null here 1 then i say n plus 1 okay then this also makes no sense then n no sense 1 so that sums up to 1 2 3 2 n 2 n plus 3 so that is your time complexity for this given algorithm okay so that's all about the video uh, we'll discuss the asymptotic notations in the next presentation and i hope you liked it for any suggestions you can please uh, give below in the comment section or you can even mail me the email id has been mentioned below and uh, the email id is last minute tutorials at the rate of gmail.com and also if you like the videos and you found it helpful you can like share and subscribe thank you